What's going on everyone? I said I was going to update my how-to tutorial for mods for American Truck Simulator, so here it is. So obviously what you need to start off with is you need to go to Steam. Here's the browser, and you do have the client version if you want to use that, but uh, I use both here and there. But anyway, of course, you need to have the game. There it is. Just do a search on Steam, Steam or Steam.com takes you right to all that, and there you go. I have this in the majority of my videos, so if you don't have the game, go to one of my videos, show hit the, the show more on the link or at the bottom. You know, it, you see more in the description, and uh, this link will be there. So once you have that, and you have to buy the game, you can't use the demo, don't even bother doing anything with the demo, um, isn't going to work, so, once you have all that done, you get all this installed, and boom, you have American Truck Simulator, now comes the fun part, I want mods, I want to play with mods, so, there you go, go, I usually have this, pinned which is actually right there i have that saved so i can go to it whenever i want if i want to update it i just hit refresh and everything is already sorted by most recent there we go all the most recent mods are right here and of course over here you can separate them i want to do paint jobs okay so now it's going to separate them and most recent paint jobs uh, you can also let's see um top rated all time there you go that resorts it, makes it all different. So, different ways to do it. Now, when you say, okay, found the skin I want. So, let's see. Let's go with... Oh, you know, I don't care. I'm just picking one. So, I'm going to pick this one from Lucasi, the boss Peter built. So, let's just say, all right, we want this one. I like the way it looks. So, you hit subscribe. There you go. Now, what's going to happen is, if you have your client open while you're doing this, down here at the bottom, it'll say one of one downloads, or whatever else you have, it might say five of five, because it's also downloading other stuff. So, it's going to download that automatically. And if you say, uh, you know what, I don't like it anymore, I don't want it, unsubscribe. Now, it's going to be removed from your game. So, pretty freaking simple, ain't it? Uh, also, if you don't, if you just like it, say, oh, yeah, look at this one. I like it already. You're going to have, oh, the, all right, Schneider right here. I'm with that Schneider trailer. I don't even need to read the description. I know I want it. There's a plus sign that shows up right there. Boom. You're subscribed. Simple. Easy peasy. Unsubscribe. Boom. Done. And that is where the workshop is simple. Then all you have to do is go into the game, go into your mods manager, and activate it pretty simple doesn't get any easier than that moving on all right guys here is the next step and very important step for you the google search it could be bing search it can be the yahoo search i don't care what you guys use they all have different ones whatever you prefer but learn it use it love it this is going to answer so many of your questions. And it's amazing. You can type in a question and you'll come up with different answers. And then you can go up there and type in the same question but differently. And it'll come up with different answers sometimes. Or it could be the same ones. So, you know, explore it, learn it, love it. Now, I just did a search, American Truck Simulator Mods. And what do I come up with? A whole page full of sites that have mods. Modsats, ATS Mods.lt, Best ATS Mods, and the list goes on. Lots of different choices here, guys. Search bar is your friend. Use it. All right, so... Let's go to modland.net. That's my main site that I go to for a lot of stuff. It's not uh, the first one to get stuff, but it's a lot. So I'm going to download a truck here. Uh, let's see. What do I want to download? Let's download this one. The CT660 1.1. I doubt really much has changed on this one. Is why I haven't shown it off yet, but maybe I will. Anyway, so uh, let's see. Pretty simple. We've got the description right here. You're going to go down here and let's see. we got two externals. One, they're both share mods. So let's take a look at them. Now, if you're doing an external, what is going to uh, happen here is it's going to count down from five. If you're doing from Modland, it usually counts down from like seven or ten because they want you to see the ads. 
But when you do a share mods like this one, free download, you're going to get a pop-up right away. Sometimes you have to hit it twice. Sometimes it, you hit it once, and that's it. Download again. Sometimes, yep, there's another pop-up. And, oh, didn't start. Oh, I'll do it, do it again. There we go. Now it's downloading. Now, you guys got to be careful when you go to sites like this because some of these pop-up ads are really, really a pain in the ass. I've had some that come up that they have a secondary window that pops up on them, and they want you to install something. Well, of course, you never install it. No, you're an idiot if you install it. Don't install it. Um, you know, the only install that should come up, it should match the file name that you see here, the cat CT, for example. So when that pop-up window comes up and you can't close out of the window, and if you close out that window, it comes back up again, that's something that wants you to install something that's probably not going to be good for your computer. So what I normally do is I'll try to drag that window, and I'll bring it right over here close to the X right over here. So I can go XX, and then hopefully I can be fast enough to exit out. Not always the case, but you got to be careful when you go to third-party sites like this. That's how they make their money. That's how they roll. So, we've got that. It is downloaded. Time to bring up the downloads folder. Let's see. Where is it at? There we are. And downloads. There it is. A 7Z file. I, I've heard people, including myself, call it a ZZ file. It's a 7Z file. Um, now, 7Zip will open up these. It'll open up RAR files. And they will also open up zip files. If you guys download something and it's an SCS file, file don't unzip it that's the file that you want don't touch it so the same will go here for what i do as far as keeping everything organized so it doesn't matter if it's an scs file which i will go ahead and get right now let me get a skin skins usually come as scs files let's download blue ice metallic by bunk share mods external so maybe i get to show you that uh pesky pop-up window that they have free download there's that one close it out right away download again there it is down there and then we're done there so back and that is done as well so all right back to the downloads and there it is blue ice metallic scs file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight these now you got two ways to highlight this you can hold down control and click on each file with your left mouse button, or you can hold your left mouse button and drag. See how that box opens up? You can highlight anything you want. Boom, highlight them. Right click on your mouse, cut. Now for me, I have a separate folder right here in my documents file. So there's American Truck Simulator, and here is my mods folder. ATS mods. This one, 53 gigabytes in mods. Every mod I have downloaded, whether it's still available or not, is right here. So I am going to paste. And sometimes, depending on the file, if it's a big file, you'll see a window come up and it'll show you, you know, moving files over, blah, blah, blah. Those were small files, so it moved over pretty quick. And here we are, right at the top. Now, like I said, this is an SCS file, so all I have to do is I will right click and copy it. Go back, American Truck Simulator, mod, right click, paste. And now it should be in there. Let's see. Everything's sorted in here, alphabetical. Blue Ice Metallic, there it is. Already installed, or already there. All I have to do is go into the game now and activate it. But I'm not done yet. I want to get this CAT CT660. So. I'm going to right click on it after I highlight it and with 7-zip extract files. Yep, I've already got this one, so I'm going to go ahead and put it right over it. So, once I'm done with that, highlight it again, cut. Now, this is how I do things. You guys don't have to do it this way. You can figure out your own way. Now, since I already have this one, it's not going to show up right here at the top. Everything I unzip is going to show up right here at the top. But since I've already done this one, I have to go looking for it. But basically what I'm going to do is... Right, there it is. I'm going to find the file. I'm going to take the zip file. And I put it in there with the other one. 
nothing nothing you know special about it for me it's just keeping things organized so everything i have downloaded is right here let's see cargo transport trailers and the fixes for like i80 and there's the pingas drop deck and uh let's see pingas w900 1.6 which is out of date and kind of you know everything i've done is right here even stuff I don't even use or I have never used. It's all right here. And it's easy for you guys. I'm not, you know, don't even ask for me for any of this stuff. No. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys keep track of your own stuff. That's all on you. So, now let me go back. Where was it? Where's the cat? Where's the cat? I missed it again. I lost it. Oh, no. Crap. Okay, here it is. So, there it is. SCS file. Now, if you can't, if you don't see this information, right-click, just anywhere else on the screen here, right-click, View, Details. That's what you're looking for. You want to see the details. You want to see the SCS. You want to see the 7Z or RAR or ZIP. Those are, that's the information you want to see because it's not always going to be listed right here, even if you don't see it because it's a mile long, what you can do. You can extend these to however you want. So, But that's what I want, so I'm going to highlight it copy it back to documents american truck sim mod and i think i already have this one in there yes i do copy it right over boom done everything is in there i can go into the game now and i can activate it in the mods manager for the profile remember if you got more than one profile you have to highlight the profile you want that mod to be on first and then you go in your mods manager the mods manager profile or mods manager activation does not cover all profiles. So if you have more than one profile and you want to have, say, that Cat CT660 on all of them, you have to go to each of your profiles and activate it. If you don't and you go into a profile and it's not there, I don't want to hear you guys coming to me saying, where's it at? I don't see it. Did you highlight the right profile? Probably didn't. So that's basically what you guys are looking at to do here. This is basically how you do it all. One thing you guys really should remember is this right here, your search bar. This is going to help you out in many more ways, wait, more ways than I ever could. So try it out, guys. Take your time. Take it slow. Make sure you double read everything if you have to. If you're not sure about it, double, triple read it. Retrace your steps. Take your time. If anything here doesn't really match up, then chances are either you did something differently and you didn't realize it, or you're doing, or something, you know, something along the line is different. So, like I said, go to, you know, take it easy. You know, try try an easy thing first. Go and download a couple skins so you can get used to downloading them and then moving files around and putting them in your mods manager. Baby steps, baby steps, guys. You know, download this 389 skin right here. Let's see, where is it? Modland.net. This is a direct download from Modland.net. No third-party site, no pop-ups. Perfect. So download that one and then move that into your ATS mods folder. Get used to doing that. And then upgrade to the big stuff. Trailers, trucks, sounds, so on and so forth. Stuff like that will probably be in zip file. And then you're going to have to unzip it, move stuff around, and it can get pretty complicated. So, take your time. Deep breaths. Pay attention. It's really not that difficult, guys. So, hopefully, you guys can understand it. And good luck. Thanks for watching.